Hey guys, I'm Zoe and I play The Sims and today we are building a white family home. I mean, I don't know if that's actually what it's going to be called. <laughs> you do. But uh, it is, yeah, kind of just that. It's it's a family home that is uh, very white. I'm, I don't know why you would want a white family home, but I needed one. So I'm sure there is someone out there who needed it. And I actually edit this build a lot um, throughout the building of it. But I sort of start with this shape and then it just it, it becomes very different um, by the end. <laughs> Um, so I built this for my very pastel rainbow seed on my Tumblr, which is linked down below. Um, and basically the rules for that are that it's like a nine generation legacy where all your sims are different colours. So the first generation is white, and hence I needed a white house. Um, and this is where my founder grew up. It's like, it's not actually used very much in the legacy, but I, I wanted to build a family home because I need the practice and we might as well have more family homes even if they are disturbingly white. I mean, you might as well like clean out all the furniture and then remake the house. So if you like decorating houses, feel free to empty everything and then remake it. Um, I think it's marked as having CC on the gallery because um, because it's it's in a berry save and everything is colourful. I downloaded some colourful windows and some colourful side, side, sliding, sidling. I, I'm sorry, I always forget what the word is. It's like s s that that thing that goes on walls that is woodenness. <laughs> um, I wanted to test if it was like more white than the in-game one because the in-game um, white colours always turn out grey on the exterior of houses and it's so annoying. Why can't you just be white? Why do you have to be grey? Also that little house, I really like the idea of but it gets deleted. I wanted to make a little art shed for this character because she's a painter. Um, and so originally she was going to have a little art shed in the backyard, which is really cute, but uh, it doesn't end up happening because I end up adding a second floor to this house. Um, see, it's grey, which is really annoying because it's supposed to be white, and this is where I'm testing to see um, if the CC version is more white. I don't end up using it, I end up using the, the regular game version, which is this grey one. But I think it says it has CC in the game because I tested it at the beginning. So you may have to put CC on. Um, my origin ID is down below, so you can check that out. Um, yeah, I don't know. I like this house. It's quite cute. So the family that lives here is a um, mother, a grandmother, and a daughter. There's four bedrooms, actually. <laughs> There's a room in here um, that it's actually left empty in the build. I forget about it. Uh, and then I went to upload it to the gallery and I was like, wait, there's an empty room at the back there. It was originally someone's bedroom and then I added the upstairs. So obviously she has a bedroom upstairs now. So there's four bedrooms in this house, which you should probably turn that one into a bathroom to be fair. But I just made it a bedroom. There are, there are only ensuite bathrooms in this build. So really it should be a bathroom <laughs> at this point. Yeah, you should probably just unfurnish this house. I don't know. I, I enjoyed it. It's, it works for my purposes, probably. Um... I've been enjoying myself, but yeah, it's slight, slight chaos. Um, speaking of slight chaos, my life, um, <laughs> yeah, my life is slight chaos. Uni has just started back again, semester two, um, because I live in Australia, so our semester one starts in March and then semester two starts in late July. So I'm well and truly in semester two, and by well and truly I mean I'm two weeks in and I'm four maths lectures behind. So it's, it's going well, you know, I, um, we've only had five maths lectures so far and I haven't seen four of them. So, uh, it's, yeah, it's great. Um, how have you been? Um, oh gosh, I've spoken too fast and now I have, like, run out of things to say. I made a little list of things to say every time I have these videos. I've got a little notepad. And while I'm, while I'm, um, because I watch the video first to just make sure that I don't have to cut out massive chunks of things or I can speed up things faster. And while I'm doing that, I'm like, oh, I can talk about this and I can talk about this. And I, like, literally, that was my entire list of things to say and it's four minutes in. Uh, so that was fun. Um... Oh no, this is bad. So, um, yeah. Oh, one of the things that actually happens in this build, it doesn't happen for ages, and I'm pretty sure it's not even in the video, because, um, so I build the top floor, and I kind of furnish it, and then, um, what happens, what ends up happening is that I, um, saw someone else do this thing, where you open up the gallery, and you type in paintings, and you click room, and it's, other people have, like, painted paintings in the game, so they're in the game, and they've just made like 27 medium-sized pop-up paintings. And um, instead of forcing your character to paint them and hoping that you get cool ones, you can just l uh, dump this wall in your game, where sometimes it's a room, and it's just full of paintings, so you can stick them on your wall. So that's um, what's ended up in the top floor of this build. Uh, that oh, that might also be why it's Mark CC. 
maybe. I don't know. It's not CC, because they're, they're paintings from the game. Like, the character could have painted them. I just, obviously, wasn't going to have a character stand there and paint things forever. So, um, yeah, this is me attempting to do the layout. I don't know how to lay out. Layouts make no sense to me. Um, I also did this weird thing. Yeah, I just put one piece of furniture in each place. I'm like, this room will be this, and this room will be this. But yeah, most of the bathrooms are, end up being en-suites. That one currently isn't an en-suite, but I stick a stairs there, because I forgot about the upstairs. It's because I had this, like, vision of someone standing at the bottom of the stairs, calling up someone at the top of the stairs, and I just remembered it when I finished the entire build. I was like, why couldn't you have reminded me of this earlier, Brain? You had one job, but it was just to get that shot of someone standing at the bottom of the stairs. Which, if you'd like to see, you can go in my Tumblr and, um... Click the link for the berry pasta rainbow seed. Because I also have my knots of berry there. Um, I've got both going at once. I don't know how it's going. Please uh, send me an ask or something. Or comment down below to say that, you know, it's kind of terrible that I have two things going at once. I actually love that flooring for um, the the weird wooden one. It's actually so much fun to put in builds. I'm, I've also made a massive white mansion. Which, to be fair... I only needed an upstairs balcony, that was it. I only needed an upstairs balcony, but I was like, you know what, let's just build an entire mansion. I mean, I've got nothing better to do, so let's just build an entire mansion. And it was a mistake, yes. Um, and, but, you know, you know, that'll be on the channel in a bit. <laughs> if you want a giant white mansion. Um, I mean, that's what I mean, like, I don't know if anyone would need one, but I needed one, so someone must. You know, if you, if you want to do the, um, Berry Pasta Rainbow Sea, I'll link the, um, the challenge rules down below so you can check it out. I have done way too much planning for mine. And by way too much planning, I mean I've divvied it up into four acts. I mean, there's five acts, but I have no idea what happens at the fifth one. Kind of. I have a vague idea. It'll it'll be interesting to see. I figured that by the time I get to act five, I'll probably have more plans. But currently we're in act one. Uh, it's very dramatic. Um, but <laughs> I'm actually editing screenshots. It's very fancy. I don't know if you know how, like, Tumblr postings of things work, but you take, you know, dramatic storyline, write things, I don't know, that one's a story, and then my not so berry is just me making dumb jokes about it. literally everything, literally every post in my not so berry challenge is a dumb joke, I don't know how everyone isn't so annoyed at me by this point, <laughs> I, I would be annoyed at me, I'd be like, can you just stop making dumb jokes literally all the time, but hey, I'm enjoying myself, so you know, um, that one's gonna continue to be dumb jokes, and my other one's gonna be a story thing, because I'm not writing actual books, I should be, that's literally my one goal in life, is to write actual books. But I'm not I'm not doing that. Instead, I'm writing simple stories. So, you know, I might as well be doing some kind of writing. Is the theory. <laughs> yeah. I have, like, 12 ideas for books, and just none of, none of them have ever been written. Ever. Like, mm, I get a paragraph in, and then I'm like, this is terrible. This makes no sense. I really should have added in a descriptor. Like, <sighs> anyway. Um, I actually really like this kitchen, which we've just moved on from. <laughs> Damn it. But I, yes, I am actually, that's a really cute kitchen. I'm proud of that kitchen. It should probably be in an apartment. Like, this family is too snobby to have this kind of small, cute little house. But I like that. Oh, I remember now. So I went to play in this house. The kitchen doesn't have a fridge. I like the kitchen. And it's really cute. But it, uh, it doesn't have a fridge in it. <laughs> Can you tell I'm a professional? Um, yeah. Th it's... <laughs> There are some issues with this house. Um, one is that it may or may not be CC. There is no actual CC in the build. So if you download the build, nothing will happen. It'll just be exactly the same as this. But the other issue is that there's no fridge. And you may wish to add a fridge. And you may wish to convert yeah, that fourth bedroom into like a gym or a, an actual bathroom. Because I tend to just have en suites. <laughs> it's really bad. I always forget that bathrooms are a thing. In build, so I build the entire house, and then I'm like, wait a minute, I left no room for bathrooms, and then bathrooms are just tacked in, tacked on at the end. And I should, I should really be better at this, but I'm not. So that's why we need, we all need to practice, you know. We all need to chill. Also, I'm cheating because there are pink accents, but I like the pink accents, so they're just, they're just not pink accents. And that was originally going to be, um, she's not a teen, she's a young adult, but I kind of, in my mind, she's kind of a teen. Um, she's like 18, 17, 18 years old. But that was originally going to be her bedroom, and then I remembered that she had to have a bedroom upstairs. So she gets a much nicer bedroom upstairs. I am actually really jealous of her bedroom. Her name is Jin. Because in a, um, when you're playing with berry sims, they all get little berry names. So her mum's name is Snow, 
and her um grandma's name is Pearl and her name is Jin, which to be fair isn't really white, but it's really cool. <laughs> so I, I I just used it for cool cool points. And her surname is Snowberry, which you may notice her mother's name is Snow. Uh, fortunately, her mother did not change her surname because that would be terrible to be Snow Snowberry. You know, I think <laughs> at that point you realize you've run out of names for white for white Sims. But it's it's actually a lot of fun naming Sims after colors and just dressing them all in one color because it makes life so much easier. When you're dressing a Sim and you're like, oh my gosh, I don't know what the Sim is gonna wear. You just change the colors to white and you're like, oh, there's only like three white tops in the game. Excellent. <laughs> yeah, it makes Sims a lot easier. Like, I had a lot of male sims I had to dress, and it was just like, oh, there's only three pink tops for men in the game. Excellent. I don't have any choice. Which, I mean, for some people would be a bad thing, and I suppose I could download more CC. But, you know, I, I quite enjoy having, you know, less choice, as long as they're good pieces. And this, you can actually use all of those seats. I was a little skeptical. I'm always a little skeptical as to what sims can and can't walk past, because I don't play, um... I sort of make sure to leave a lot of room for Sims to walk past things. Like, if you look at the couch and the, that table, there's so much room for the Sims to go in front of that. And there really doesn't need to be that much room. But I'm not sure where the line is, like, where it actually works and where it doesn't work. So I just... we just fudge it. <laughs> Generally, by giving them a lot of room. But yes, Sims can sit in every single one of those seats. Because I've, I had a dinner party and Sims did sit in every single one of those seats. Oh, and that laundry basket would have been so perfect there, but then I had to put a door there because it became an ensuite. So, uh, that, that was disappointing. I was really excited to use that laundry basket because I've never used it before. But, uh, alas, it never happened. Also, I have this thing of having to put toilet paper places. Oh yeah, this is when I remembered we needed top floor. I was like, wait a minute. And then I had to reconfigure literally the entire house and all the roofing. It was bad. Yeah, I, I really should have been paying more attention about what I actually needed for this house. Like, it, sh it should have been easy that I would have been like, well, I need a two-story house, but I wasn't paying attention because I'm an idiot. So, uh, that's okay. You know, we'll get better. Um, so yeah, there's a couple of colorful builds. I think after this, is there's a cafe that I really like. I, I built it in Oasis Springs. Um, uh, and you'll see that in a bit. But the problem was that it was actually supposed to be in... Windenburg. So I built it simultaneously for the Berry Path to Rainbow Sea and uh, Project Berry Fire Sims 4, which, I mean, is probably still open if you wanted to go message her. Well, she said the end of summer. Is August a summer? <laughs> I'm sorry, I'm in the Southern Hemisphere. I'm like, is August still winter? I think it is. Yeah, so you can still send her builds for that. I mean, yeah. I'll link that down below. This house didn't end up being one of them because you have to, um, the builds have to be restricted to uh, the expansion packs in base game, and I I didn't want to go through and delete all of the non-base game, uh, all of the stuff pack and game pack things, because I just it's it's so weird because when you don't have stuff packs, you're like, it's so easy not to use stuff packs, and then as soon as you have them, I have to use them. Like I use a cool kitchen stuff all the time, which like cool kitchen is such a it sounds like such a useless thing. You're like, well, it only has kitchen stuff. Why would you even need that? But I use so much of it. And the movie Hangout stuff as well. I use plants from that. And I actually, yeah, I used way too much things. Way too much things. Way too many things from stuff in game packs. I should probably cut down on that. But, you know, might as well. Yeah. See, the house, it kind of ended up a little bit pink. But I think it's, it's okay. No one will notice. It's kind of cute. Also, there's a strange beeping, and I'm really disturbed as to whether it's in my house or whether it's outside my house. But it doesn't happen often enough for me to, like, listen to it twice, so I'm always talking or I'm always listening to music, and then it happens. I'm like, did I, did I imagine that? Is there really a beeping there? Oh, you probably can't hear it. Um, again, my microphone is not plugged in. Uh, I, tr I put my computer on a little book to uh, attempt to not have it sound so terrible when it's trying to fan itself. Um... Tell me if that works. It probably doesn't, to be fair. But I'm getting I'm getting on getting a new microphone. I mean, first I need to get a job, and then I need to get a microphone. But I'm working on both of those things simultaneously. Um, which is good, you know. And finally, we've come to the upstairs bedroom slash art room, which is my favourite part. Oh, no, apparently we're still downstairs. But the, the upstairs bedroom, I actually would love to have as my bedroom. I'm talking about the build too much in this build, but to be honest, my life is boring. Um, I mean, it isn't that boring. 
I went on a choir camp. Okay. <laughs> it is boring. The most interesting thing that happened to me is that I went on a choir camp. Uh, take it that what you will. Oh yeah, that was really stupid. I, I only just then realized that there was a window behind all of those shelves. I just placed all of the objects and all of the shelves. I didn't notice there was a window there. Basically, I'm not good at this. Um, yeah. <laughs> Subscribe anyway for more chaos. Because that's, yeah, that's the byline of this channel. It's just, it's, it's more chaos. Literally, I'm pretty sure the title for my Tumblr is more chaos as well. Because it's the, it's the truth. Yeah. <laughs> things, things are going well, I'm sure. Um, speaking of things going well, I'm doing my Shakespeare course. That's going well, mostly. Um, we're doing the Taming of the Shrew. He's like, I want to get the most problematic play out of the way first. And we're all like, gee, thanks, Mr. Lecturer Dude. I'm so appreciative that you really want us to delve into the, like, terrible situation of... <sighs> yeah, The Taming of the Shrew. So that's what the 10 Things I Hate About You is based off, if you know the basic plot. There's, like, two versions. One of which is um, the younger sister. The younger sister, who's lovely and docile and has all of these lovers. Um, and two of her lovers dress up as tutors, I think, and pretend to tutor her while also vying for her affection. So that's, you know, the very light comedy section. And then... Um, I mean, it is a comedy. And then the other half of the play is her older sister, Catherine, has to get married before Bianca can get married. So, um, Catherine has to be married off, therefore, in order to marry Bianca. So Asuda finds this guy, Petruchio, and is like, Yo, dude, marry Catherine, and then I can marry Bianca. He's like, sure, I'll take that challenge. Goes to her father, is like, yo, I'll marry Catherine. The father was like, what? <laughs> no one has ever wanted to marry Catherine. Sure, you're the first guy who's ever asked, but sure, it'll be fine. Um, and Catherine is like, um... I'm not okay with this. And Patricia's like, no, it's fine. I'll just starve her and deprive her of sleep and isolate her from her family. And then she'll be fine with it. And uh, that's exactly what happens. This plan works perfectly. It's a comedy. Everyone lives happily ever after. <laughs> oh my gosh. It's, yeah. Um, so that's the play we're doing first. Um, our teacher thought that was a good idea. So, you know, it'll be it'll be fun. I still haven't done the pre-reading. Um, <laughs> so I'll have to see what... Um, all of the, I'm pretty sure they're all like feminist texts pulling apart the undertones of the play. Uh, but I can get back to you on that. <laughs> on what people actually say about this play. Um, and this is her teeny weeny little art room that um, was originally supposed to be in the backyard, but then I decided that um, if, if, if I have this massive upstairs area, you might as well have a teeny little art room over here. Um, which, yeah, ends up happening, eventually. I was trying to find, I was trying to find that wall thing, you know, when, when there are uh, paintings leaned up against the wall, and this one time I needed them, it just, it didn't happen. I couldn't find it for the life of me. Um, because there's that one where you can just have blank canvases, or you can have coloured canvases leaning, leaning against the wall. And I, the one time I needed them, and I'm pretty sure the next build that I did, I immediately found them when I was looking for something else. Why would you do this to me? Why would you? <sighs> it was so cruel. <laughs> I'm so annoyed. <laughs> I'm still annoyed about it. I just, I don't, I can never find objects when I need them. Because, you know, uh, like I know it's a, it's a decoration object. I think. And then you go through literally all of the decorations in the entire game and it's not there. Why? Uh, I cut out most of the landscaping because, you know, you don't, it's basically flowers and those hedge things. You know. <laughs> It's kind of same same, and I also cut out the um, the yes debug. I put debug on and then added all these plants. I didn't plant them before I put the house up on the gallery, so you have to plant them yourselves. But that's okay. And I actually changed the wall so they're mostly white plants. Uh, I ran out of white plants at some point, but they're mostly white plants um because we have a theme going, and I'm gonna stick to that theme. <laughs> you may have noticed, aside from the pink furniture in the living room, but that's okay. Um. Yeah, I th I think it it turns it's cute. It's 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 a cute house. I don't know why anyone would want a plain white house just in regular gameplay, but maybe maybe you do. So um comment down below why on earth anyone would need a plain white house unless they were doing a very fast rain busy. But uh yeah, I didn't show you the terrain painting. Basically, terrain was painted, just take my word for it, and then lights were placed down. This is <laughs> just a teeny sampling to be like, take my word for it. Terrain was painted, light was placed down. Everything was great. So I'm going to leave now because, <laughs> to be honest, I haven't had anything to say for the last 10 minutes. But I hope you enjoyed the video. Subscribe for more chaos and like if you liked. And I'll um, see you soon. Bye-bye. <laughs>